What is up amigos? Today we're talking about how viscosity creates lift and this is a very interesting phenomenon because viscosity is often seen as a very negative aspect of fluid mechanics in general. In the fluid mechanics world, viscosity is like the supervillain. But in reality, viscosity is actually crucial for producing lift over most airfoils and really anything with a sharp trailing edge. And today we'll be going through why that is and what would happen if you don't actually have viscosity, which is quite an interesting effect. So let's say we have an airfoil, which I have drawn a fairly thick airfoil, just to demonstrate that it doesn't really matter what object you have as long as it has a sharp trailing edge. And you have the free stream flow coming in here. And at some point, there's going to be a stagnation point at the front. And then here, the flow is going to go over the top and here underneath. And at some angle of attack, this is the interesting point now. Without viscosity, the flow is going to have to go around this sharp trailing edge. And because it's so sharp, it has to come around here and then somehow instantaneously change direction and come around the trailing edge. So that means that the velocity at this point would skyrocket to infinite. So obviously the velocity cannot be infinite and as a result this doesn't make sense in real life. If there's no viscosity that's fine but um, in real life we have viscosity and this is where viscosity really becomes the hero in this uh, particular case. So because of viscosity it, without viscosity, the flow would come around here and would get a stagnation point around about here somewhere, depending on the angle of attack. So the flow would actually be shed off like that from the airfoil or even come along further. And with that, it means that we don't have any lift being produced. But what viscosity does is it limits the velocity that this flow can come around to an actual sane value, a finite value, a real value. So that means that the flow doesn't actually flow around this trailing edge and actually allows it to shed off the trailing edge instead of experiencing this like infinite value and to do that what happens is to begin with let's say we have an airfoil and it's stationary and then we start to move it through the air or if you have a wind tunnel you have a stationary and then you have the flow starting to come along you'd actually start to get a trailing edge vortex being shed off of this trailing edge it's called a starting vortex and then once it's shed downstream the flow can then just wrap around the airfoil nicely and be shed off in the familiar pattern that we are used to. And that is how lift is being produced now. Now, the important thing about this stunning vortex is, well, there are many important things, but one important thing is, let's say we have no viscosity in the surrounding trailing field. But what that means is that regardless of how far this airfoil travels, there should always be a line connecting this stunning vortex to the airfoil. So that means, let's say we have an airplane going from starting from Paris, it takes off, flies all the way to Tokyo or whatever. That's, I don't know, 15,000 kilometers or whatever it is. If there's no viscosity the entire way, the starting vortex that is existing in Paris is now connected all the way to the airfoil, all the way to Tokyo over that 15,000 kilometers. Now, because of viscosity, we know that the starting vortex and the flow being shed off here, the wake will get ripped apart and turned into heat. But without that viscosity, that flow is always connected to the airplane's wing the entire way. So that is a really interesting fact. And in terms of viscosity bringing it back here, if we didn't have viscosity, there would be no way for the flow to be shed off of this trailing edge in such a fashion. As such, we wouldn't be able to get lift out of this airfoil or any shape with a sharp trailing edge. So that is why viscosity is crucial for actually producing lift. And without it, we couldn't produce lift. So that is in this video. If you'd like to make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next one. Peace out amigos.